this episode's article is best indoor to trainers, especially with the weather changing and we're all gonna kind of go into hibernation here soon. If you don't know, you can ride inside still and not be miserable uh, Yeah, as it gets colder. I know that I don't love riding outside when it's cold. I am different than you, that's fine. Okay, but you should probably be aware of the different types of indoor riding that you can do or riding experiences rather because I know that when I got my first trainer or my first set of rollers rather, it completely changed my world and my riding and this is kind of what we're gonna start talking about here is what kind of bike training can you do inside and what's available? There are a few different types of uh, trainers out there. Dan wrote the article. Dan, we miss you. But to kind of get started, I know that I, when I first started indoor riding, it was on a pair of rollers. And that's gonna be kind of most people's point of entry and what I would recommend to most people is get yourself a pair of rollers. Uh, they're gonna teach you an immense amount about uh, stability, core work, um, it will really encourage you to stay stable on the bike because you're not locked in. Anywho, but before we keep diving on into these things, uh, another one is gonna be a, a friction set of uh, trainers or rollers rather, something that you can kind of adjust the tension of how much resistance you need. And then from there, you're gonna have direct drive trainers. Uh, I'm gonna bring these in because it all sounds a little foreign except for the rollers. Rollers are rollers, I'll, we'll probably throw a little roll a picture upside in the right hand corner or something. Um, but anywho, uh, great place to start off with. Uh, this is what a friction roller is gonna look like or a friction trainer rather. Um, it's gonna have some sort of attachment that you put on the handlebars and you'll be able to increase or decrease the amount of resistance needed um, that will then adjust the amount of output that you need. So that's one style. And every one of these trainers are gonna have positives and negatives to them. So Whichever you decide to buy, you, you'll just learn to live with it and you'll train like everybody else does, you know, inside. Um, the next type of trainer that we're gonna get into is uh, the next step up. It's gonna be a wheel on, but this one will be most likely magnetic. I think that's what it is here, hang on. Um, oh my God, oh. that rear end's heavy. Okay, um, so this is another type of example here uh, that we have. Let me stabilize that before it falls on my foot and I call OSHA. Anywho, uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a magnetic uh, wheel on type of trainer. So basically what ends up happening is once you kind of step away from the manual adjustment or the rollers rather, you're gonna be introducing a computer into the system. This has Bluetooth in it. This also has AMP Plus. So this will communicate to your computer. You'll need one of these. Um, and you'll also need uh, an app of some sort or some training software that will connect to this system because what ends up happening is, let's say it's your phone, as an example, it doesn't have to be a computer. Uh, you'll download some software, you'll start training on the bike, you'll attach the rear wheel to this, and you're off and you're running basically. And, between your phone and the rear hub here, you'll have a signal that's sent wirelessly and the bike trainer will do the majority of the work. It will adjust the necessary output so that then you can start training in that zone or those intervals rather. Wow, this one's heavy. <sighs> For the last type of trainer that you can get, this is gonna be a direct drive. Let me pull this guy up into the frame. Whew. That was heavy, not really, it's cause I've been picking this thing up and down, up and down, up and, anyways. Um, so this is gonna be a direct drive bike here that you can purchase for about $600. This is gonna be an extremely, I don't even know if affordable is the right word. You guys don't like me using words like that apparently. But my point is, is that this is an opportunity for you to get a pretty premium product that is going to uh, really give you accuracy at the end of the day. As an example, this type of indoor trainer will exist in many different price points. Um, I know that, as an example, I was coming off of a Saris H3. That's a little bit more expensive. It's a little heavier. Uh, it may or may not have the same type of accuracy as this thing, but that's kind of the point. Um, there's an ecosystem or a plethora, rather, of different ways to train indoors that shouldn't limit you from riding that's kind of the, the point right there is 
I know I'm pretty bad at where, I, from where I'm talking about, I need to get back to indoor training and riding in general. And for me, that's one consequence that I need to live with, but I'm off topic. I'm talking about my life now. Anywho, let me get back to this. Uh, with all of these different types of trainers, you're gonna have certain compromises that you're gonna make, whether it's noise, weight, space. These are all considerations that you really should be mindful of. You won't necessarily know until you start. And if you have a friend that has an indoor trainer, ask them to let you borrow it for a couple days. Um, it's a great way to kind of get your mind around how much space you'll need, uh, if you're gonna annoy your partner with it early in the morning or late afternoon, uh, or if you're gonna need a dedicated space for it because um, this will take up quite a bit of room once you attach a bike to it. And, or if you have rollers as an example, that's, that's a situation as an example. So um, if you haven't read the article, we'll obviously link it in, in the description or something of that sort below, but um, yeah. Whether it's rollers, whether it's a, ma uh, a magnetic fluid resistance trainer, a direct drive, they're all gonna have their pluses and minuses, literally. Um, make sure you look at Dan's article because he spent quite a bit of time testing all of it. And um, yeah, he actually recommends quite a bit of different trainers out there, depending on your budget and your price point um, and your experience. Let me know what kind of trainers you guys are using. If you're on Zwift, add me. We'd love to ride with you guys sometime. 